Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you D-type parameter of read underscore CSV. D-type parameter is used to change data type of particular column or columns. Here you can see marks column values are integer type that you can see over here. So this column having integer values. If we want to change into floating point number that you can see here we have to provide D-type parameter inside read underscore csv here you can see i have used python dictionary with key and value pair key which is our column name and data type that i want to provide to that particular column values here i have provided floor 32 which is 32 bit number also we can provide floor 64 which is 64 bit number Float 64 take up twice memory as compared to float 32. Please remember also we can change data type of multiple columns. For that here we have to provide another pair of key value pair. So here key and value which is another column name and the data type that you want to change. Let I show you this practically in the Jupyter notebook. So let me first import pandas spd now let me load our data set data is equal to pd read underscore csv let i first use marks dot csv that you can see over here marks column having integer values if i want to convert into floating point number then i have to use d type parameter of read underscore csv that we have to provide into python dictionary key which is our column name colon values data type float 32 which is 32 bit number as you can see over here now our marks column data are converted into floating point numbers also we can change data type of multiple columns now let we load our another data set pd read underscore csv i am going to use marks underscore new dot csv this all data set that you can download it from my github account link is given in the description below now as you can see over here column names with aaa bbb ccc ddd ee now let me first change data type of here we have to provide python dictionary bbb to float 32 now you can see data are converted into floating point numbers now also we can write another column name let i convert eee -E -E, that you can see over here to floating point number colon let i provide float 64 which is 64 bit number now you can see bbb -E 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 data are converted into floating point numbers thank you thank you for watching